If you're thinking of taking your motorbike down a dark, mainly deserted road at night, you'd better be ready for what comes next. Published to YouTube by Mumbiker Nikhail to YouTube in December of 2014, another strange sighting was spotted while riding on a cold night. The uploader writes, I was passing by Airy Colony after midnight, and I would like to share the scary incident which took place. He notes in the video that the area is known for its ghost stories and scary people who lurk nearby. Nikhail says he wasn't sure if what he saw was a thief or a ghost, but whatever it was, it was scary. Thieves and ghosts aren't the only scary things about Airy Colony. Located in India's Sanjay Gandhi National Park, Wikipedia warns against traveling. The deciduous forest between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. As there are many feral pigs, stray dogs, and even leopards in the thick vegetation along the lonely roads. Worse, life takings are not uncommon in the area. Neither are occult practices. Ghost stories are widely circulated, with many claiming that spirits have tried to hitch rides in the night in this area. So yeah, why not take a ride down it? Though it is late, vehicles pass Nikhail by as he rides down the dark road. There are even people standing on the shoulder at some points. As he continues driving, darkness envelopes until he sees a man walking strangely in the middle of the road. He cries out as he almost collides with a man. But when he turns around, no one is there at all. He said he turned out of curiosity, but then realized the guy could be a thief, though he didn't see him anywhere in the darkness. So he sped off to live another day, and he says he's never returning to the area again after midnight. Would you? Based on what Wikipedia said, it's not a good idea. Parents may especially have trouble watching this dashcam video from Toronto. This father with a baby stroller is about to have the scariest encounter a father could ever experience. He's getting his kid out from some snow when a thoughtless driver goes through a red light and almost takes them both out. The car has some flashing lights on the back, so it could have been an emergency and might explain why they were going so fast. Still, had he been pushing the baby stroller in front of him, this would have been a much different video. Thankfully, that wasn't the case. One day, a YouTuber named Michelle Burst and her friends are startled to find something burrowing beneath the ice. Oh my god! Wow! They are positive that something is causing the ice to crack and splinter as it digs a path under their feet. While I do see what they think, I'm pretty sure that this is just the formation of ice in real time. Still, I'd like to get your opinion to confirm. If I'm wrong, then I have no idea what could be shifting the ice like that. If you've ever been in a bug swarm of any kind, you'll know it can give you chills. This mayfly swarm is no different. In fact, it's practically nightmarish. When the mayflies took over this bridge in Iowa, snowplows were required to unblock the swarm buzzing in the bridge's path. In fact, the bridge had been so completely swarmed by the bugs that emergency crews were sent to the area. The nightmare scene turned into a scary situation after bikers tried to plow through the massive heap of mayflies but lost traction. Luckily, they escaped. The bridge's clearing was recorded by Tina Franzen as she rode along in her son's police car. Franzen said of the event, I've lived in Sabula since 75. I've never seen that many before, ever. To clear the bugs over the following weeks, it was decided by the Iowa Department of Transportation to keep the streetlights off near the bridge as the lights attract the mayflies. Here's hoping it all worked out for Iowa. They don't need any more of this nightmare fuel. A group of friends are recording themselves lifting weights and basically just joking around in a small gym. The situation suddenly becomes very serious when one of them leaves the room and then comes rushing back to bang on the glass for help. You say I'm gonna pick you up. Four. No, wait. What? What is he? Where is he? A tentacle-like appendage seems to wrap around their friend's waist and pulls him away. 
The group goes outside and searches for their friend Nathan, but he has vanished. Then another friend goes missing too. There. Nathan, come on. I could count as one. Nathan! Ah! The two survivors run back into the building to talk about what just happened. One of them is in complete denial and thinks that they are simply being pranked. They are talking about whether this is really happening or not when suddenly their worst fears are confirmed. <laughs> You're not laughing at this? This is crazy. This is hilarious. That's nasty. That's nasty. Well, there is a strong possibility that this could be CGI. The uploader has not come out and said that this was a short film. Instead, they insist it's real. Most of the people in the comments section agree that this is authentic, but I'd definitely like to hear what you think. We all know them, the people of Walmart. But it's not every day you run into one who starts screaming in your face. That's what happened to this man who pulled out his phone to record this man's erratic behavior. YouTuber Bake Sadie described what happened in his own words. Okay, so I wanted people to see how crazy this guy was. Excuse my language. But this guy was staring and following me in Walmart for about 20 minutes. This is when the uploader decided to record the unfolding event. Pretending to be on his phone, he filmed the man for about a full minute. The man was just standing across the way, watching Big Sadie just as described. He does appear not to be in his right mind, as he turns to someone who isn't there and starts talking. Then the man walks up to Bakes and gets so close, the YouTuber wrote that his hat touched his face. This was why he told him to back off in harsh terms. He wanted the guy to know he was serious. The man responds to this threat by saying he's got all the cop cars in jail. When Bakes stands his ground, the man just starts screaming, Don't threaten me in his face repeatedly. Don't threaten me! Walk away. Don't threaten me! Don't threaten me! The people behind him stop dead in their tracks. Even this is too much for the people of Walmart. Then the man hurries away, but you can still hear him shouting, Don't threaten me in the background. He's captured again on camera ranting and raving as he wanders through the checkout aisles, attempting to make his way out. A scary stranger encounter, certainly, but also pretty bizarre. If you hear this sound, run for cover. Rays of light shine upward in this video, published to Paranormal World in December of 2020. <sighs> But that's not the only oddity in this clip. Turn the sound on full volume and you'll be blasted into the midst of a prehistoric jungle. The light then turns into what looks to be a winged figure and the sound becomes more symphonic. The creature forms a sphere before its wings reappear, perhaps preparing for takeoff. The man filming takes this as his cue to leave, but judging with a creature like this, he can run but he can't hide. A YouTuber named Lanzo has a haunted ranch that he is afraid to visit. He knows at least one of the buildings is haunted because his uncle told him about a full conversation that he had with a strange man who said that he was a demon and then promptly and mysteriously disappeared right in front of him on the spot. Ever since then, the one acre property has been overrun with paranormal activity. Just from now, from that day and now on, it's always been like creepy for me and my cousins to come here at night. That I heard something that was scared. I. Do you guys hear that? Do you guys hear that? He hears scary whispering voices haunting the woods nearby and quickly shakes the thought away. But I think I might have heard the whispering voices too, followed by other scary noises that may or may not have been the wind. It's 3 a.m. and as they approach, they can feel the paranormal energy feeding off of their fear. 
Their equipment refuses to focus on one paranormal hotspot, and they know it's because a ghost is haunting them. Right there. What the f you guys? And I'm gonna impact. Their night vision and motion tracking paranormal equipment detect a super tall figure standing in the same place they felt was haunted, and it's making the dogs bark like crazy too. The animals are familiar with Lanzo, so I think these pets are having a ghost sighting of their own. There's a figure right there. The dogs aren't even facing them, further evidence that something paranormal has their interest. Something's clearly back there. And even the horse seems to freak out as well. I feel sorry for all of the terrifying encounters that these poor animals probably have on a regular basis living on this haunted ranch. The horse begins moving frantically at 6 minutes and 58 seconds, and then they detect a ghost trying to climb some firewood to hitch a ride. The panicking animal sways back and forth to get away from the apparition, but to no avail. I don't know if this horse is freaking out over a ghost ghost sighting, or if it's just asking them for some food. This is a 3 a.m. video though, so I don't think the horse should be hungry. We noticed that there was a figure that was dancing with the horse like next to it. Like literally right there, you guys, like I'm getting the chills. I'm terrified right now. Behind this gate is where the dogs were barking at something, and that's when they get really scared because their paranormal equipment goes off again. I literally can't feel my feet, like. It's starting to detect something. Dude. They need to go around the building to see what's on the other side of the gate, but they hardly get a few steps before their camera goes out of focus. Over here. We're and in the woods, they hear a really weird voice, like laughter. When they consult their paranormal equipment for a translation, it interprets only one word. If there's anyone here with us, give us a sign. Goodbye. Oh my God, no. And it utters this phrase. A single ghost orb flies into them. I wouldn't be surprised if this ranch was haunted by skinwalkers after all. Skinwalkers are paranormal tricksters who will often haunt ranches built on ancient prairie lands. So with this in mind, a ghost sighting on this ranch would make sense. Kay Sosa 37 posted this spooky video of her dog in 2017. In the description of the video, she wrote, they always say animals can see spirits. My dog was barking at nothing in the room. She wasn't looking at the TV screen. And you can see her move her head suddenly at the 9 second mark. At first, it appears as though the dog is perhaps barking at her own reflection in the television in front of her, but it becomes clear that the dog is looking at something to the right of the TV. And then, as the YouTuber noted, the dog jerks its head suddenly and jumps up, looking above the television. She starts growling and barking more as she gazes upwards. The camera scans where she is looking off to the side of the room, and there's absolutely nothing there. The dog then gets up from its seated position, continuing to growl and bark, and looking still at a spot to the right of the TV. The dog is acting aggressively and defensively, and although her owner remains calm and asks the dog what's wrong, only she seems to know that something is very wrong. What is she seeing in the void? Have you ever come across a video so scary that you don't want to inflict that feeling of impending doom on others? This video was posted by Hirsch Duchy to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The Redditor asks for some help in discerning what's happening here. Duchy is in an abandoned house that's littered with junk. While wandering around the space, he arrives at the kitchen. You can see the cupboard door is slightly ajar. A moment later, it opens wider on its own. The Redditor said he didn't notice this strange event at the moment. It was only when he was showing his mother the video later that he realized something unseen might have been in the house with him. 
Well, Dechi asked for help explaining this, and plenty of Redditors rose to the occasion. Many in the comments of this clip suggest that the wind and the open door were involved, noting that you can hear the wind and see the plants moving outside. Nails or anything like that. The Redditor agrees that it's probably the wind, but wanted to see what others thought, whether or not there may be a paranormal theory. He also notes that the wind wasn't blowing in the direction to open the door. Redditor Kaliana78, however, appears to disagree with the others writing. If it were the wind that blew that open, why wasn't all the junk blowing around as well? What do you think? Is this just another episode of wind and air streams causing movements in inanimate objects? Or is there something seriously dark going on in this house? Are there paranormal happenings recurring in your home? This YouTuber can relate. Published to YouTube by Youngboy Lloyd in March of 2020, Lloyd asks viewers for help as he believes there's a ghost in his home. He shows video proof across a series of three clips. The first part shows him watching something on TV when a plant falls over on its own accord and rolls off the entertainment center. When Lloyd moves to pick it up, it falls over again and he gets scared off by something unseen. In the next clip, he takes action, burning Sage to get rid of the ghostly presence, and as he does so, the chair at the end of the table starts moving. Lloyd doesn't notice at first, so the ghost forces him to, aggressively flinging the chair onto its side. In the last video, Lloyd says he's not going to allow a ghost to take over his house. As he's talking, a cabinet door opens behind him in the next room. A pot on the counter can be seen falling to the floor. Lloyd jumps up from his seat and tells the ghost to leave. Eve, I think my wine went up. Did the ghost listen? I don't think so. The SEMGHS ghost hunters record some interesting evidence of the paranormal during their investigation of a house in Waterford, Michigan. Nobody is anywhere near the doorway when this motion detector goes off, so tell me how this can happen. This is my shadow. Oh, the motion went off. Then when he says hello, the motion detector fades away as orbs fall. Hello. Okay, what you are seeing right there lit up, that's the motion detector. And, it just and as they are talking about what happened, a third voice chimes in with this creepy whisper. Yeah, plus the, uh, Ooh. it was your standard of the, uh, a group of neighborhood kids from Algeria decide to rush the local haunted house, reasoning that the ghost inside can't get them all. Someone tell me what's going on here. I think they might be nervous and start to pray. <laughs> Their words seem to have successfully riled up something as they gather excitedly to see what's behind this wall. <laughs> You'll never believe the weird things they've caught on tape. <laughs> this still image taken at 3 minutes and 56 seconds shows it best, the outline of a shadow figure watching them as they leave. This is some of the best paranormal evidence caught on tape that I've seen in a while. The mysterious figure is standing directly under a window and yet is still covered in darkness. Hannah Atkinson is excited to open her eBay mystery box that she has bought for just under 20 pounds. Inside are a variety of trinkets that Hannah seems genuinely happy to receive, but then she comes across a bottle of sunscreen that I personally think is a little odd and suspicious. And it's taped at the top um, with the same tape that's on the box, so not too sure what that's about, but that's fine. Hannah has no use for the mysterious taped up bottle since it is winter time in the UK and she decides not to put it on. 
I guess this bottle could truly just be some leftover sunscreen from someone who wanted to give it away, but it could also be filled with just about any kind of chemical you could imagine. Let me know if you think this was a legitimate bottle or some kind of trap devised by an online sadist. More importantly, let me know if you would have been brave enough to test the product with your own skin. This video, taken by a paranormal investigator named Daryl James Godsey in an 1800s California graveyard, might capture the ghost of a child as it rises from its resting place. Daryl sets up the motion camera and gives it a test by waving his arms. As he does so, a long anomaly appears briefly and disappears. Notice how its odd shape seems to connect all the way down to its tombstone, if only ever so briefly, and then it's gone. It might simply be the image of a bug flying close to the lens, but literally one second after it's gone, this paranormal detection equipment lights up as soon as it leaves the frame. Are these two back-to-back -back events pure coincidence or absolutely paranormal? You tell me. YouTuber Anonymous Web brings us this scary video in what appears to be an abandoned home. A hooded djinn creeps past in the hallway and he's about to light it up. Did this djinn create the fire, or was he created by it? I think we just witnessed the birth of a djinn. With the video title, Doberman vs. Mailman, I think we're all expecting there's a dog at this street address who is really tired of seeing this mailman, and today it's going to deliver him a final message of its own to stay away. The mailman slowly approaches. Clearly, he's dealt with this Doberman before, but as the Doberman isn't doing the same slow approach, he quickly turns around and is soon being chased, running for his life. The dog catches up quickly and appears to snatch something from him and heads back to the house. The mailman's demeanor switches from terrified to looking like he's having a fun time. So maybe he was in on this from the start, or maybe he's happy the Doberman didn't try to snatch an arm or leg instead. Whoever shot this footage claims to have been filming back in 2008. They were exploring an abandoned house and decided to start filming after hearing a strange noise. It's a very short clip since it wasn't long before they were running out of the house screaming. Reviewing the footage again, you can clearly see that this is not an ordinary forest creature. Its front legs bend inwards as it runs, kind of like a human running on all fours. It doesn't appear to have much of a face, yet it can somehow make a terrifying scream. The humanoid appears to be ready for the cameraman as soon as he opens the door. It approaches aggressively, but also with a hint of caution, for it rushes at the cameraman at only half speed. It also doesn't seem to pursue him when he starts running, which means it's probably just claiming its territory and wants to be left alone. The YouTuber who uploaded this video says that this is not their only encounter with the creature. Another time, they were exploring the abandoned house with a friend and a knife. They peer into the house from the front yard and listen for any signs of the creature inside. They don't hear anything, so they decide to go further in to investigate. That's when they hear its disturbing warning cries. It sounds like a mix between a squealing pig and some sort of enraged dinosaur. The two quickly turn off their flashlights and remain quiet in the dark. Then they slowly get up and start sneaking away, but just when they think they are safe. What the heck is that? Oh, shoot, no! shoot, shoot! Just get out of the house! Get out of the house! Just get back to the house! Just get back to the house! Jesus Christ. They run back full speed to their nearby home. When they review the footage, they vow to go back to the property the next day with guns, but they never got the courage to follow through. Since the monster never chased them in either video, perhaps it was just as uncertain of them as they were of it. Chip Chan is the name given to a South Korean woman who was discovered by the website 4chan. They found her live stream one fateful day and proceeded to watch every moment of her life for years. 
What they found was both curious and startling. For one thing, Chip Chan would often pass out in strange positions for over 12 hours and then do things like barricade her door closed with whatever she could find. She rarely left the apartment and appeared to be in a lot of distress at all times. 4chan eventually came across her blog and found out that she thought she was being stalked by the local police. She even says that they have implanted a chip into her that allows them to control when she sleeps and how she feels. Here's a video of Chip Chan silently screaming as they supposedly activate her implants and mess with her mind. There's no evidence that any of what she is saying is real, and as of now, people either completely believe her story or else think that she has a serious mental disorder. It hasn't been on in a long time, but maybe someone can translate the text on her page and make sense of what she is saying. All in all, nobody has been able to track her down to talk with her, and her identity is unknown. All we know is that somewhere in South Korea, a woman was recording herself all of the time as a way of exposing her tormentors to the world. A YouTuber named Craig Wilson was doing some home repairs when he noticed a small hole in his backyard. He opened it up a little more and was shocked at what he found waiting down below. This hole goes down, down, down to a giant cavern. It's a gigantic earthen cavern extending a full 16 feet straight down. Craig wonders out loud if this was natural or man-made. As he continues to videotape from a dizzying height, Craig quickly had the hole filled the next day, but he'll never forget about the huge underground threat that was once threatening his home. He and his wife think that it was probably a well about 60 or 70 years ago, but they aren't positive. I'm just relieved that the hole didn't widen while he was standing over the edge. A YouTuber named Cup of Mocha is in the middle of making a video when she realizes she is no longer by herself at home. What the f This door is not supposed to be open. The video goes from light and playful to an emergency situation after she sees the busted basement door. I personally would have called the police at this point, but Cup of Mocha decides to stay. Watch this part and tell me if you think she should have ran upstairs or kept recording. I'm just gonna film this just in case, like, the police find it or something. But that's f what the she goes from room to room half expecting to get jumped by some crazed intruder at any moment. She eventually tiptoes into a large laundry room with many hiding spots. It looks all clear until this happens next. There's literally no one here. Oh my! According to Cup of Mocha, someone bumps her from behind and she drops her camera as they run away. I wasn't sure if this was real or not. But over one year later, she still appears to be having problems with this obsessed fan. Oh my god, Monique, 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 we need to go. Come here. What? She sounds really scared here, but I would like to know if you think she is truly in danger or just making a fictional series. Yo, and you can see it's clearly the upper half of a young girl who is dressed in old fashioned clothes from another time period. She is floating in midair as she curiously peeks in on the two children to see what they are doing. One of the girls still doesn't see the ghost. She shouts at something that's on television and accidentally startles the ghost away. The girl with the camera follows the ghost as it retreats. The ghost instantly teleports and now stares at them from the top of the the steps. The scared girls run out of the house screaming. They stop only for a second to turn around from the street. They can see the ghost girl walking across the left window on the top floor. It vanishes and then suddenly appears on the bottom floor in less than a second. They scream even louder and take off again. This eerie video has me doing a double take published by Spot You Like in April of 2008. This scary clip is filmed outside the stunning York Minister. The bells are ringing and the cameraman is taking it all in.
He scans the cathedral and then starts walking toward it. A shot later, he is continuing on his way down a narrow shop lane. While the bells continue to sound, shops line either side of the street. But watch what happens in the upper window to the left. The cameraman zooms in on the ghostly pale face of a small child looking out the window. The child's eyes are dark and inky, and its face mask-like. As the camera zooms, the child disappears. The uploader notes that the house is called The Bell Fry and was built in the 17th century. Some in the comments claim to have stayed there and say that it has seriously spooky vibes. Is this the thing putting out those vibes? I'd say it's a pretty good chance. Question: What's scarier than a theater at night? Answer, a haunted one. Published to TikTok, this appears to show the phantom caretaker of a haunted theater. Jay says the theater is supposed to be empty, but he keeps hearing a noise, so he's searching the theater to find its source. Alright guys, so I work at this uh, old theater and I've been hearing a noise. It's a really beautiful theater, as you can see, if you can see it at all. But I keep hearing a noise in here and there's not supposed to be anybody here, so... Suddenly, he glimpses something in an upper theater box. He can't quite capture what it is, but after backing up a bit and zooming in, he manages to focus on this. It looks like the ghostly figure of a little boy dressed in a suit. Although the image is blurry, the scary figure is distinctly there, leering out from a theater box. Phantom of the Opera? An intruder? Maybe he's just a ghost fanboy waiting patiently for the play to start. A woman feels sorry for her cat because it recently lost its best friend. She begins recording a Snapchat after she notices her cat is meowing, like it's looking for its companion and feels sorry for the little guy. That's when she accidentally records something terrifying. The head of a shadow figure peeks out from the foot of her bed just before her Snapchat ends. Her only remaining cat is all white, so that's not it, and nobody else is in the house with her. The size of this shadow figure's head looks small, more like an animal than a person, so maybe this was the cat she recently lost, which happens to be a black cat by the way. To me, it looks like it wants to climb into bed with her, just like it always has. And perhaps the other cat was meowing not out of loneliness, but because its friend is back again. Seeing how she claims to have felt watched all week, I'd say it's a strong possibility. It's 1.30 at night, and David Oman is working late from his home office. He feels like he is no longer alone so he glances at his CCTV system just in time to see a shadow briefly pass by. David quickly archives this strange occurrence and uploads it to YouTube. The shadow itself looks transparent and moves way too fast to be a normal person. This video almost looks like it was sped up to create this ghostly effect. But if this really is the normal speed, then I have no idea what else this could be besides a paranormal intrusion. When Alexandra went exploring an abandoned schoolhouse in Ukraine, she never expected to go viral. On the first floor is a discarded tracksuit outside of a hole in the floor that looks like it could serve as the final resting place for many. They also find a green barrel that's full of an unknown chemical. They can't read the faded label, but maybe a subscriber in Russia will know more about this. Да вот бочонок. По идее, не знаю, что тут написано, невозможно прочитать сейчас. It could be acid. I've heard of people dissolving the passed away in barrels full of acid just like this one. Across from a green barrel are footprints, and across from the footprints are pictures of people. Ладно, пойдем на второй этаж тогда. Это ты? 
Y es todo. Alexandra pauses at the stairs. Мы с миром пришли, Господи. Надо нас пугать. На приколе что ли? Может, пойдем? Пока. I think this video is 100% real because Alexandra does this thing some people do when they're really scared where they talk to themselves out loud to keep from completely breaking down. Так быстро выходим отсюда, это просто великолепно, потому что я сейчас реально насру себе в штаны и все, на этом все закончится. А вот он, мой великолепный, прекрасный выход. На. With that said, I'm not sure this video is paranormal. The noise could be someone staying here. A scary person who I'm sure you and I would want nothing to do with. A man who countless others likewise wish they had never seen. When you think you're home alone, and then this happens. Posted to the ghost subreddit by Esco Season 95, the redditor writes, I was messing around with my dog, just us two were home, and my door did this. The video shows the redditor playing with her dog's mouth, baring his teeth, when suddenly behind him, the door, which is opened into the bedroom, slowly swings closed before slamming shut. She specifies that her door never closes like this, and there were no doors or windows open to create a draft. While some think there are too many ways to fake videos with closing doors, others don't believe it's faked, but cite air pressure or other circumstances that might have caused this. Dark Lord of Pretzels writes, Whether or not it's paranormal doesn't matter, because if I was home alone and that exact scenario happened to me, I'd nope out of there so fast. I feel like most of us would agree with that statement. A YouTuber wants to go exploring at an old abandoned school on the edge of the town in Searsboro, Iowa. A place rumored to be haunted and made even scarier by some nearby creepy woods. The school was shut down two times and nobody really knows why, or at least the local townsfolk don't want to say. The inside is trashed and has no power, and yet their equipment makes a low rumble from an electronic disturbance coming from this stairway. Notice how the sound goes away as soon as they turn away from the steps. Do we even want to try and go with that? Should we go across the catwalk yeah, or this way? Something paranormal is definitely up there. A strange feeling keeps them all away. In the next room, this rope moves by itself and then a bucket quickly follows. A second rope gets pulled and it's hard to say if all of this is a ghost or one of them off camera. On their way out of the abandoned property, they find this creepy secret room. Why a school would have a hidden room is beyond me, and also beyond creepy. Keeping a student down there would definitely get your school shut down. They find another small room hidden away and decide to go in. Inside is a message that says something bad happened in this secret room. It's an old worn message written long ago. Not by them, but perhaps a former student. A creepy noise ends the exploration as fast as it began, and when they look back at the abandoned building, they see what could be a pale ghost in the window. Everyone knows seedy stuff happens under bridges, and YouTuber Last Leaf Studio found evidence of this in July of 2016, posting a video entitled, Some Creature Creeps Under the Pedestrian Bridge in Kiev. The footage shows traffic passing by on a highway in Ukraine's capital as the cameraman is posted alongside a pedestrian walkway. Scanning the scene, the camera lands on the pedestrian bridge overhead. Look closely here. Beneath the bridge, you can see a large creature, apparently somehow holding onto the underside of this bridge, creeping across it bit by bit. You can even see its limbs move as it makes its way across. At first in darkness, the figure makes its way towards the light. A close-up of the creature reveals that this figure is distinctive. Its outline and limbs seem to be that of a human, or at least that of a humanoid creature. But what human can traverse the underbelly of a bridge like that, and why would they? The other option is that it's something with an immense amount of strength. What do you think it is? Roofers in Miami, Florida have a creepy encounter with some scary creatures hiding among us. 
One of them removes a shingle and has only seconds to get away from these creepy creatures of the night caught on camera. After some more investigating, they discover to their horror that the bats are not coming from a hole in the house, but are rather nestled under each shingle by the dozens. Suddenly, the removal job has become a lot more complicated and beyond creepy, as they have to pry open each area without getting in the way of awakening bats. At 8 minutes and 15 seconds, bats are flying into this guy's face and threatening to knock him off balance. Eventually, it looks like they've gotten rid of them all, but just knowing that I'm one shingle away from a face full of bats would probably be scary enough to make me find another company to work for, and possibly another career altogether. A family in the Bahamas recorded the horrors they endured. Posted to Twitter by Gilbert NMO Morris, he writes, It has been 14 hours now with Dorian in Freeport, Bahamas, and this is the roof of a home there. Take notice of the wind and rush of the waves. This family was already on the top floor of the house. Can you imagine holding steadfast in the roof of your home moments away from being swallowed by the sea? The event is reportedly one of the worst on record to hit the islands. The Bahamas will take years to recover from this. Around 300 homes were completely destroyed. No doubt the home shown in this video was one of them. The YouTube team Greg and Heather's exploration know what fear is. They found it in the woods. As Heather is sitting near a campfire, she hears something unsettling nearby. What the heck? What was that noise? She goes to investigate. Hello? Where is that coming from? Nobody answers, so she continues on. As she hears the sound again, she finally encounters its maker. There it goes again. Oh my Hello? What is this creature? What are you doing out here? Oh my Whatever it is, it's soon coming for her. Will she escape him? Where'd you go? It's almost creepier when he disappears. While the YouTuber explains in the description that this video is, in fact, fiction, the horror is real, and I think their monster is particularly chilling. Lethal Gamers is a YouTube channel full of cool gaming videos, but one in particular is unlike all of the others, and not in a good way. Look at this. There's a baby face clear as day in the window. I don't know if it's the face of a baby or not, but I can see the eyes, nose, mouth, chin, neck, hair, and ear. It looks to be wailing in anguish. Lethal Gamers says that his floor is up way too high for someone to press their face against the glass. Beyond the reflection of his room is nothing but night sky. Look, this is my kitchen window. Well, the crazy part is when I first looked at this, when I first saw the face, it looked like it was looking straight out. And now it looks like it's turned. And get this. He also says that this face was looking the other way minutes ago, and 20 minutes after this video was taken, it was supposedly gone. But without the video proof, we'll never be able to explain if this was real or fake. A YouTuber named Stuart Drake says that he found this old VHS tape, which only had 1999 written on the side and nothing more. Someone is exploring an old schoolhouse all alone, presumably at the turn of the century. 
The video looks pretty ordinary, except for a few glitches like this one. Stuart Drake is checking out a small dead-end room when the deep rumbling sounds of electrical disturbance return. He turns around and comes face to face with something I'm not sure I even believe can be true. A lot of people swear that Slenderman is just a myth, but this video seems to say otherwise. If this tape is real and correctly dated, then this would mean Slenderman has been active for over 20 years. This paranormal investigator's creepiest capture in a cemetery is bone chilling. The YouTuber was exploring the hauntings at St. Joseph's Cemetery near Kimswick, Missouri when she captured several EVPs. Michael. Michael? Later, while she was attempting to communicate with the passed on using a spirit box, Michael made his physical cameo. Watch to the right, just above the vehicle. Which grave is yours? Nobody appears to be in the vicinity, so to whom does this shadow belong? I vote for Michael. Erwin Saunders enchants us again with these captures of a folkloric woodland creature. Published in October of 2021, Erwin was searching for another creature when he caught this one unexpectedly. Near a small waterfall, the creature flits quickly into view, too fast to see clearly. It makes a reappearance again later, but it still moves too fast for the human eye. Yeah. Some in the comments note that in slow motion, the creature appeared to have a big head and bat-like wings. What is this thing? Is it truly a folkloric woodland creature? Because that appears to be the case. Give your haunted eyes a rub and take another look. A man enters a restaurant in Split, Croatia, and helps himself not only to a chair, but to a customer's belongings as well. First, he enters loudly enough to make two women turn around and take notice. He was probably on a fake phone call and tried to play it cool, but fails miserably. He pretends to hang his jacket up on the chair and stretches out to try and swipe this black backpack. It doesn't work and so, undeterred, he tries again. This time as one of the family members gets up and he's about as close as he can be to getting caught here at 41 seconds. And so he knocks it to the floor while the older man is busy swapping out a more comfortable chair, covers it with his jacket, picks it up and dips. They must have thought the odd fellow simply changed his mind about eating here. Only later did they realize he had gotten away with one of their travel documents. Obviously, this man has practiced this technique many times before and probably targeted them because they looked like a tourist family. He has yet to be caught in the past four years and most likely never will. So the next time you're at a restaurant, watch out for any odd character sitting at a table near you. A redditor named Danny3LG are making a funny video when they accidentally capture a morose visitor in the process. <laughs> Something taller than the entertainment center looks out and ducks from view. In the split second, I see the top of its head, along with a pale brow and two solid black eyes. If not a ghost, what else could this be? Bryce Newbold describes this Ohio hiking experience through the Shawnee State Forest as a very rough trip, and by the end of this video, you'll know exactly why. It's a hot summer's day and he has many miles ahead. By four miles, he is drenched and walks about half a mile to drink from the river. His next source of water won't be until nightfall, and by then he will have walked 12 miles. By the second day, he is feeling unusually miserable and drained, and decides to take a shorter route. I am absolutely covered in either little tiny ticks or chiggers. They're probably chiggers. They are all over me right now. I tried washing them off, but I mean, I'm gonna have to go through and pick them off one by one, it looks like. 
He's looking pretty pale by the end of the day, even though he's been getting plenty of sun. That's because poor Bryce has been getting his legs chewed off by tiny ticks that won't give up, and by the end of the day it's looking pretty bad. And I have a million bites from those little chiggers last night. You can see they're still on there. By the time he gets back home, his legs and feet are covered in marks. I'm not a doctor, but I definitely would be going to one soon if I were him. That looks really bad and I think it's probably time for a test or two to make sure you didn't get anything from them. I really hope he's okay and that nothing like this ever happens to him again. The Southern Arizona Ghost and Paranormal Society teams up with fellow ghost hunters the Mission Creeps to investigate the ever so haunted Oliver House in Bisbee, Arizona. 26 people are said to have lost their lives here over the years, the most famous being a man named Nat Anderson, whose wife disposed of him with two rounds after learning of an affair. Now gathered in the historic bedroom of the Oliver House. They call upon Nat Anderson and possibly get a response. Somebody told us that Nat Anderson was here. Is Nat still here? This is one of the clearest paranormal voices I've ever heard. It sounds distant yet in the same room as them. I'm wondering if this was edited in, and I'm especially looking for the opinion of any sound technicians. Here it is one more time. Maybe it's just me, but I'm detecting a hint of sarcasm in the voice, so maybe it was Nat Anderson being funny by saying he wasn't there, or maybe it was a different ghost who is tired of this question altogether. Is one of America's greatest presidents still roaming the earth? YouTuber Soul Searching thinks so. She visited President Lincoln's tomb at the Oak Ridge Cemetery in Springfield, Illinois. The place is said to be haunted. Let's see if it is. Right away, Shannon gets a response to her inquiries. Walk up to me. Oh, I heard a noise. Was that you, Mr. Lincoln? I heard a noise. When she asks the spirit to knock. Can you knock on this? There we go. It answers a moment later. Unless there's construction going on inside the tomb, I don't know what would explain the knocking in response. My thoughts are that Lincoln's spirit remains here. You might think you've got nerves of steel. This video was posted to the Very Spooky Video subreddit by Pekonik. In the video, the likely US-based officer pulls over a driver at night, approaches the driver's side door with a flashlight to question him, but then never gets the chance. The dash cam footage shows what happens inside. A bright light bursts from the sky, causing the patrolman to stagger a little bit before he vanishes. Leaving a steaming clothes behind in a pile beside the vehicle, the car then speeds off, either out of fear for what just happened or to flee the scene. Having been an active participant in the officer's vaporization, we're left to wonder which it is. The clip first appeared on the YouTube channel from Tim Beckers, who said, I downloaded the video and shared it with a couple of my friends in the community, and they all told me the same. This footage looks real and it could change everything we know. What do you think? Could this be real or a clever fake? This creepy video has been floating around the internet for quite some time, and I've never been able to find a source. It was taken by paranormal ghost hunters researching an abandoned house in Russia. They unknowingly pass over a mysterious figure in the corner, who was caught on video but apparently not seen in real life. Maybe it's just me, but it looks like she could be wearing the very same dress that they find laying outside of the room moments later, in which case her body is probably nearby as well. Weirdest of all is this small object in front of her. It's too out of focus to tell for sure, but I think it might be a creepy doll caught on camera looking at them too. 
To kick off this entry, we enter the medieval old town of Edinburgh. The storied history of Scotland's capital lends itself to some truly legendary hauntings. This video illustrates that no matter where you turn in Edinburgh, you may find yourself face to face with the paranormal. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Rocket League RL, something frightening is caught on film in this normal, everyday Edinburgh park. Even J.K. Rowling found ghostly inspiration in Edinburgh, citing the very real Greyfriars Kirkyard, where you will find some of her character names taken straight from the cemetery's very own tombstones. Needless to say, Edinburgh is the perfect scene for paranormal sightings, as this video goes to show, on the banks of a lake, across the jungle gym bars of a playground, a phantom woman appears to stand still, as day turns to dusk, Apart from the ghastly image of this figure stood unmoving there, strange incoherent sounds are heard throughout the clip. <gasps> Is this a case of Edinburgh's terrifying history come to life? Or are our eyes deceiving us? When this early riser arrived at work at 6am, she didn't expect to find her first customer waiting. Posted to TikTok by The Blaze Beauty, the worker exits the kitchen and enters the cafe area, revealing a figure standing just outside the front window. She walks toward it. At first, you can't tell if the figure is facing away from or toward the window, but as she steps closer, it looks like the figure is facing toward it, though you cannot see its face. The figure then slams the window with one gloved hand. What is this thing? Bro, what? Oh, girl! <laughs> oh my! And what does it even want? Many in the comments are shocked that she even approached. Others think he's harmless and just wants a burger. What do you think? It's the window slam that makes me feel like their intentions are nefarious. A YouTuber named Dylan HD decides to explore an abandoned house with some friends. The home still has some furnishings, including a wall full of creepy paintings of children. The far end of the house is completely dark, and they are hesitant to explore this section. Finally, one of them bravely goes into the darkened corner and comes back shaken. He announces someone is looking at them through the window. Pay attention to the thin beam of light behind him during this clip, because that's the window he's referring to. So someone was at the window. Act. Someone was at the window. Was. It's gone really bright. Is the window after all? No, it's, it's the same. Oh! The thin beam of light silently extinguishes as the window is closed by whoever was on the other side. It's important to note that all three friends were close together when this happened. One could be seen on tape, the second was holding the camera, and the third could be heard directly to their right. The trio runs screaming out of the house and never looks back. A YouTuber named Yara records herself singing in her room when a visitor approaches, or maybe it's just the sound of her tablet getting put down. You wanna sit? She looks down the hallway. You wanna sit? It looks like a lock gets popped, but no doors open. There are no footsteps, no one says hello, and then. <laughs> Yara claims she saw a demon, but that's a lot for me to believe without the physical proof. I will say that those two noises were awfully odd, and it didn't sound like anyone else was with her before they occurred. The CCTV video comes from an unnamed museum after hours. First, you can see the turnstile move on its own, as if someone has been granted admission. Next, the turnstile suddenly stops, and you can see the clear outline of a figure as it makes a brisk exit. I'm not quite sure what to make of this footage, but many people think it could be real, since museums are often filled with ancient artifacts that could be haunted. Ghost Tales published this video in 2013. The description reads, Dog senses a ghost in the room. Captured on film is the ghost actually throwing the ball. <coughs> the 
The clip begins with the doll just staring into the living room. Then, all of a sudden, she starts barking. She retreats into the kitchen, where her owner stands filming the strange event. The dog heads slowly back into the living room, sniffing around. She creeps back in, lifting a leg tentatively as she peers out into the living room. There appears to be something draped on the table and the dog starts barking towards it. The dog then picks up a ball it found on the floor and then gets distracted by something else she found on the floor. Then she hears a noise that makes her spring and stare at the thing on the table again. She sniffs around it and is distracted again by the ball. Although the dog in this video does seem to be spooked by something, it doesn't appear as if the ball was thrown at it. As the author claims, but if you see it in this clip, let us know in the comments. What if you fell asleep only to awaken to find a venomous snake slithering in the sleeve cuff of your shirt? That's what happened to the relative of a patient in a government hospital in India. The man was napping on the floor when a green venomous snake slithered inside his shirt. When a member of the hospital staff noticed the movements in the man's shirt, they called a local wildlife rescue society for assistance. Personnel from the center arrived and managed to remove the snake from the man's kurta, which is a loose collarless shirt in India. Surprisingly, they did not awaken the snake during its removal, and undoubtedly, that man certainly thinks twice now before catching some Z's on the floor. When you can command a door to open and close, you may just have the gift. Published by the Scottish Ghost Company in February of 2022, this investigation of an industrial complex turned super creepy when the investigator's commands were granted. The pair is alone in the warehouse aside from the ghosts. You can hear them communicating via the spirit box in the adjacent hangar throughout the video. The pair approaches a door and asks the spirit to open it if he or she is still with them. Can you open the door, please, if you're still with us? In answer, the door slowly swings open. A moment later, when asked to close the door, the spirit acquiesces, slamming the door shut. Really impressed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Many in the comments call this activity mind-blowing and wonder if it's real. Is this a portal to another world? Step on through if you dare. Can you open the door please if you're still with us? Oh my god. Oh my god. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Eric waits until 3 a.m. to communicate with the other side at a cemetery in Japan. He sets up the spirit box and waits to be contacted. They soon sense the presence of a lonely ghost and a single word comes across their equipment. Apparently, the spirit understands its surrounding and knows exactly where it is. Japan. Japan. It's the Japan. It's the Japan. The spirit box continues to chirp out static until the waves clear and this phrase comes out. What they're jealous of, I'm guessing, is the fact that Eric is still alive. They probably should leave by now, but curiosity compels them to stay put until the camera goes out of focus, almost like somebody is very near, maybe even in front of them. And I'm not sure, but I think I hear the name Eric spoken in a thick Japanese accent. <laughs> More spirits seem to find Eric, and by the end of the video, an invisible congregation has formed all around him, and he finds himself is surrounded by hushed threats and whispers of regret. I think this voice is real, because the spirit box only gets a little bit of activity at first and finishes with a chorus of voices. Two friends struggle to push a boulder off a cliff when a third stands at the bottom to make sure the action is caught on video. I think they were expecting it to drop straight down or something like that, but they are about to learn that gravity works in mysterious ways. It looks like he's about to get it big time, but at 22 seconds, the rock bounces at an angle that's barely to the right of where he's standing. 
There isn't enough time for him to react, and the fact that he's still alive afterwards is little more than random physics and sheer luck. A man has been plagued by a demonic invasion that refuses to give him peace. On February 9th of 2017, he records not one, but two shadow figures ominously standing nearby. All you can do is hear his nasal breathing as he watches, stunned and trying not to scream, all while this heavy drape breathes in and out all by itself. Watch how it moves. That's not the wind. Besides, it was staying still for the past 4 minutes and 40 seconds prior, and you don't even want to see what's moving on his other window. I'll show you its true form in just a little bit, but for now let's focus on a couple different incidences first. On July 22nd of that same year, he is turning over a crystal again and again, possibly in hopes that some of its protective energy will rub off on him. Slowly but surely, this bright spot begins to manifest itself before his very eyes, starting at 1 minute and 33 seconds. Hope turns to horror as the omen spins around to reveal a grinning reptile-like face that he sure is the lord of the underworld himself, its stony face shrouded in half-darkness. This ties into a separate incident 12 days earlier on July 10th. That's when he claims to have recorded what he calls a ghoul lurking in the bush outside of his window. When you pause at 3 seconds, it does look like the top half of a skeletal face that soon disappears into the bushes, black eyes and all. That definitely wasn't a normal animal, so what was it? It looks remarkably similar to the face seen in the crystal nearly two weeks later. Sometimes it would show up in the most unlikely of places, like the folds of a piece of fabric as shown here on February 15th, 2017. Do you see the creepy goblin face with a long nose, big ears and open mouth? I can even see an eye. And that's the more friendly of the two faces. This second one looks like two worried eyes and a mouth locked in a permanent scream. There's not as much detail and some of the features are disproportionate and misshapen, but it's still there nonetheless. So now that you've seen the demon's face a few times, I suppose you are ready to see the rest of it and the rest of the original video. This is what he saw crawling into his home that fateful early February day. This upside down creature is in fact one of the many beings who he claims to see on the regular. It's hard to make out exactly what this is, but it's harder still to disprove it and it gives me a bad feeling all around. I tend to believe this video, and all of these sightings for that matter. He claims the quality of the video has somehow sharply deteriorated over time since uploading, and that the being at one point looked more detailed and even had horns. I don't see how this is possible for a digital copy to become less clear, but the colors do look muted here and apparently were brighter. So I want to know if you think that this man is legitimately seeing demons around his house, or if this is all happening in his mind. As much as I want to believe this is a delusion like some people think it is, I don't necessarily agree. The problem is I do see a lot of what he claims on video, so there's a good chance it could be true. A YouTuber in Thailand named Hassan Natapong is exploring a ghost town full of abandoned buildings to investigate. There are far too many abandoned places to go exploring on foot, so after a while he uses a drone with a high resolution camera to take a closer look and see what mysterious sights he can capture on video. Hassan is just a normal YouTuber and not a ghost hunter by any means, so you can imagine his surprise when he finds a mysterious figure in all white wandering down the road like a zombie or something. <laughs> He tracks the strange figure with his drone and watches as it does a bizarre walk, arms outstretched, up an unkept yard and into an abandoned house, seemingly at random. The way the figure shambles from left to right does not look like a ghost sighting, but it could be someone who is about to drop from exhaustion and needs help, so Hassan knows he needs to find this person fast before it's too late. He can see his drone flying overhead and so he follows it to the abandoned house where he saw the mysterious figure go into. 
The inside is trashed and large sections of wall are completely gone. It doesn't look safe for anyone to live in here, and I wonder if this is where someone would crawl to live out their last moments in relative peace. He looks everywhere, even on the second floor, and finds no evidence that anyone is here. As he goes back down the missing staircase, you can see nobody is there. But when he gets to the bottom of the steps, he sees a little ghost girl kneeling under the stairs with long black hair over her eyes. I say this could be a ghost sighting, because there's no way to have missed her going up these steps. I'm guessing that he must have not noticed her presence until he was editing the video much later. Then again, considering this looks like a very generic representation of a ghost, kind of like the movie The Ring. It's also a pretty big coincidence that he just so happens to be filming over his shoulder when she appears, so I think it could be fake after all. Paranormal activity was recently caught on video by this family in Pakistan, but I'm not sure if this is a poltergeist or just them throwing things around, so help me decide. Most of the objects come from the corner of the screen and could have been easily thrown by someone off camera. I'm not sure how they made the table come back after it was thrown against the wall, but it doesn't look that heavy so maybe it was on a wire. I guess we'll never know for sure. KT Camp records her overhead lights swaying back and forth. They start out moving clockwise, but at the end of the video, they are starting to move the other way. Maybe she twisted up the cord on purpose to make it do this, but that doesn't explain the orbs. There's an especially large one here that is different from the others in size, shape and speed as well. Real haunting or just a fake attempt in a dusty kitchen? You tell me. Some kids, flashlights, a tunnel, and the darkness of night. These ingredients never fail to be a recipe for disaster. Published in December 2012 by Timothy El Shebu, a group of kids decide to enter a sewer at night with nothing but flashlights to guide them. They should have expected what came next. They crawl into the depths of the tunnel, waiting for the creature to make himself known, but when it does, you wish it hadn't. The figure springs towards the boys and all mayhem breaks loose as the entire group tries to scurry out of the tunnel at once. When they do finally break free of the tunnel and its creature, a sigh of relief washes over them. Many viewers of this video feel the same way. The Potato Llamas wrote, Reminds me of when there's a spider hiding under a rock, and the second you lift it, it runs at you. But what was this thing crawling deep in the tunnel? Some think it was a monkey, judging by the noises the creature made. Others, special effects. I don't know what it is, but it's made me want to stay out of sewage tunnels at night, or at any time, really. YouTube team Greg and Heather's Explorations returns to the Townsend Cemetery, where they once held hands with a spirit. Will he hold their hand again? They begin with an EVP session. You sneak peek at her EVP I session. Oh my god. You remember me from last time? <laughs> As they're examining the grave of a Confederate soldier, they hear a distant sound. It was like a Confederate soldier. Something. He was a, a high up in the ranks. But what is that noise? You hear that? What is it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. They then discover what that sound is. Is that? Water zone. Wait, Whoa! Wait. That Wait was not minute. just someone. No. Oh my. 
Is You've been saying that you felt like somebody was over yes. here messing with you. Is someone pranking them? And is the prankster living or a spirit? When they turn their ghost tube app on, they see figures all over the place. Hello? Oh, oh wow, look, right there. It's right in front of you. Wow, hi. We see you. Was that you that just set this meter off? And later, they try to convince the spirit to hold hands again, this time with Patty. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Can you do that again? Yep, he's right next to you, to the left of you, yeah. Oh, wow. Can you reach out and touch her hand? Like you. But the spirit is reluctant. Heather believes the spirit is a child since it's down low. I tend to agree. That might also suggest its hesitancy to reach out, and it might explain the trickery with the faucet being turned on. This child ghost is playing games. Three things can happen in plain sight. Currently trending in the Brazilian YouTube community, I came across this video on YouTube channel EXTV. Further digging led to the video's full version on YouTube channel, the front page but I believe it's still a re-upload. The video shows a young couple entering a restaurant. Right away, you can tell something is off. The guy is treating his girlfriend really roughly and possessively. The girl looks anxious and uneasy, and when she finally sees her opportunity, she takes it. After writing a message, she manages to replace it and slip it to the waitress. When the waitress finds it, she alerts her manager. Who alerts the police. When the police arrive, they confront the guy. The video states that one in three young people will be in an abusive or unhealthy relationship. If that statistic doesn't give you chills, I don't know what will. Let's just hope that most are brave enough to get out of it like this girl, and that the people around them are paying attention to their cries for help. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you. Thank you.